to make this happen, there is a lot of preparation required. Checking what ingredients we have, coming up with a plan on what to make, going grocery shopping, then cooking. This is a lot of work and this happens every day. And we are often overwhelmed and end up saying, you know, I'm tired. I'm just gonna order some food tonight. And although I feel a bit guilty when I do this, as a mom of two boys, I feel you. I don't know how many times I wish I had someone to be able to plan the meal for me. And I thought, I can do that for you guys. And that's why I decided to launch this Ikigai Cooking Club, which is a membership plan. Here are the four main services I offer in this Ikigai Cooking Club. Service number one, weekly meal plan combined with the grocery list. Here's how it works. I'll start by recommending how to make a couple meal preps on the weekend and give you some meal ideas on how to utilize them throughout the week. For example, on the weekend we make these two. Then on Monday, because we already have the meal prepped, all you have to do is make the main dish, which takes only 15 minutes. My job is to make sure that there's enough carbs, proteins, and plenty of vegetables in one meal. The idea is based on Japanese philosophy called Ichiju Isai, that is one rice, one soup, and one main dish. It has ideal nutritional balance. Many current members in my online course have told us they feel satiated with the smaller amounts of food. If you click on the recipe, you will get to see all the recipes together with the video instructions. Because it comes with a grocery list, one key benefit is that you will only shop for what you need instead of blindingly buying random things you see in the supermarket. As you keep following the meal plans, you will learn to habituate the meal prepping process. And a couple weeks later, you might be able to freestyle your own favorite Japanese foods at home. That is our goal. Here's the voice of one of the Ikigai Cooking Club members. The experience of learning meal prep with Miwa is so much fun and rewarding. In just a short time, you will be surprised how easy it is to make a variety of beautiful and delicious dishes. Service number two, you are able to join the exclusive community group. In life, when we start something new, it's always nice to have someone guide you or run next to you, right? So in this Ikigai Cooking Club, there are like-minded students where we share our cooking struggles, wins, and of course, questions. Here's what one of my members told me. Learning a new skill can be daunting and often hard to stick to. The community has been a fantastic resource in sharing the journey and keeping each other engaged. From sharing stories to get together to ask a question and discuss challenges. The community has been instrumental in transforming interest in Japanese cooking into a rewarding and sustainable practice. I believe the teamwork makes a dream work. And this is also where you can get to ask me anything along the way. Service number three, monthly live meeting. To keep things going, we have to have our fun activities, right? So we'll talk over the Zoom and do the Q&A session. Plus, we'll cook together. <laughs> At the past cooking session, we did a we, we made a pickles and dressing. Service number four, supermarket tour. Many of you have started to come to Japan, and I often get asked if I do a cooking class in Tokyo. Unfortunately, I don't do that anymore, but I thought we could meet up and tour the supermarket together when you visit Tokyo. I don't want to make this sound salesy, but four days from now on until May 1st, we will be launching a special membership price at a significant reduced rate. So if you are interested, please check out the link in the description box below. Lastly, this Ikigai Cooking Club, this idea comes to me when I was in the hospital. I had an operation a couple weeks ago. It's, don't worry, it's nothing serious. I was born with the ear deficiency, is that what it called in English? So I need to get the surgery at some point of my life. It's, it's like this, can you see that? There's a tape. <laughs> but anyway, I was in the hospital for four days. I'm stuck in a tiny room where one single bed can barely fit in. 
and it's constantly dark and I'm not allowed to talk to anybody. That experience reminded me just how, how special the ordinary day is. Waking up early in the morning, making bento box, feeding kids, cleaning up, and doing the work that I love. Sometimes it's very stressful, <laughs> for sure. I, I don't, I can't lie. But those things never happen without our health. Being healthy is not about restricting a certain group of food. It should be a lot simpler than that. It's all about incorporating variety of foods in your cooking at home, having a joy and appreciation for your loved one and for your, for your future self. And I want to make it happen in this Ikigai cooking club. I want to support you to continue to cook more at home. I can only do this because of your support. So thank you so much, so much for your support in advance. This is it. I try not to read the script. So I, I hope you guys understand what I am trying to say here. <laughs> so more details are in the description box in my website. If you are interested, please check out the link. And I'm looking forward to joining into your journey. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next one. Bye bye. Matane. Uchi desa?